you've lost that tactile nature of actually having things you can hold or collect. And it's such a little thing that brings me joy. Just being able to put a tape in my video player or I put a cassette into my Walkman or flip through books or old magazines. It's just a really nice feeling. I think one of the big aspects of the sort of 90s lifestyle for me that I love is that in today's society we've sort of lost touch with actual things. We're so used to everything being on our phones or being streamed. So being able to turn my phone off and go away and have time to myself and then come back to it when I'm ready is, a, is another really important thing for me. It's also a big luxury as well. And I think that would be a big a big thing for me that's important. And I think another is just the sort of um, isolation but in sort of a positive way where you can choose to take yourself out of situations and escape a little bit. We call it global climate change, and it is, but it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm. Climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth, almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love.